Hey shooters, welcome back to the Shooters Resource Channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Sestava M70 z -Bat. This is a great gun out of Serbia. Before we get to shooting, go ahead and take a second, hit that like and subscribe button, support the channel. Five. This is an overview of my first range session with the Zastava ZPAP M70 out of Serbia. This is a great AK. It looks beautiful as all traditional AKs do, but it's got some upgraded polymer furniture like the Hogue overmolded foregrip, which feels really comfortable in your hand, and the Archangel fully adjustable stock. It's adjustable for length of pull and comb height. That could really come in hand if you're planning on mounting an optic on this AK. Speaking of mounting optics, it also has the lower receiver mount option, which is really nice if you want to purchase a rail made for this, which can provide a rock solid way to mount your optic. The rifle also comes with three sections of Picatinny rail that can be attached to the handguard. This allowed me to mount a flashlight to the AK, which is something that I do on all my defensive guns. The highlight of this gun is definitely the trigger pull. It's coming in under five pounds. And it feels really great. The reset's not super short, but it's very tactile, and there's an audible click when it's ready to fire again. Bottom line, the trigger really helped in running this gun fast and keeping my hits on target. My only complaint on this gun is the sights were off from the factory. And that's a common problem with a lot of AKs, but I was hoping that this one wouldn't have to be adjusted for both windage and elevation. The elevation is pretty easy on the AK, but the windage does require drifting the front side. I was able to get it done and get my shots on target. And hopefully during the next video, I'll be able to take it out at distance and prove to myself that this is going to be a great gun from 0 to 300 yards. The ZPAP M70 did come with a Generation 2 30 round Magpul magazine. I did find that it was a little harder to insert than the traditional metal magazines. However, I feel like once it gets a little wear on it, it'll be just fine. You might be wondering a little bit about the drill that we're running. I've heard it referred to as the aimbot by folks like T-Rex Arms, but uh, it's a really great drill overall. What it does is, if you've got another shooter out there, it allows them to introduce surprises into your training, so you don't know exactly which target is coming up next. And you can incorporate it several ways into your drill. The gentleman you see shooting is a good buddy of mine. He's running a SIG M400 that's suppressed, chambered in 300 blackout, running subsonic loads. It's a pretty sweet setup. All in all, I highly recommend the Zestava ZPAP M70. It's a great AK rifle, and it's coming in at an awesome price. I'll do a full review on it after I get some more rounds down range, and we'll cover more of the features and why the Zestava ZPAP M70 is a great buy. Zestava's been around since 1853. They make a multitude of firearms if you weren't aware, and they make a really mean AK if you're in the market for one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, go ahead and take a second, hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thank you all and God bless. Hey shooters, welcome back to the Shooters Resource Channel. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the Zestava, Zestava, Z-Pat, Zestava, Z-Pat, M70. 
Zastava M70 EPAC. Zastava M70 ZPAC.